What's up guys? Welcome back to Rome Reviews. I'm Rome and this is the Vivo X200 Pro. And today we're going to be working our way through getting Google Messages RCS working on your phone. So I have been spending time trying to refine this process as much as I can to make sure that it'll work for at least majority of people out there that are having issues with Google Messages on, on their phone. So Let's go ahead and jump into it. And I'm gonna to try to keep this uh, video as linear as possible. So right away, I'm gonna show you guys that my messages are, it's working. I have the AT&T card on this phone and you'll see the 4G up there. I don't get 5G with AT&T on this phone. I do get it with T-Mobile, but anyway, that has nothing to do with this. Uh, so you'll see that it's working. I'm going to try to show that as clearly as I possible can, possibly can without showing too much of my information online. But um, that's why it took me so long to make this video anyway. But uh, well, that's one of the reasons besides trying to refine this process. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break it <laughs> um, as much as I can anyway. So I'm going to go to the Play Store and I already have it up. I'm going to uninstall this app uninstalled it um and what i'm going to do is i'm going to install it and i want to see just for my curiosity whether it'll um go ahead and reconnect again you will notice that i'm not sure that this is a requirement but like i said i've been trying to refine this process as much as i can so i have my phone on the uh cellular service not on wi-fi or anything like that because i wanted to connect directly with the cellular service while it's trying to verify my phone for rcs so that's why i'm not on wi-fi and that's why the app is downloading so slowly um so i'm gonna go ahead and open it i'm going to set my default profile set it as the default app it's going to do some stuff in the background. We're just going to go into message settings. Turn it off just for me. So you'll see that RCS chats aren't available for this phone. Okay, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into accounts.google.com and I'm going to include these links in the description. So jump down there. I'm also going to include um, uh bookmarks or whatever they call them on here so you can skip through the video to find a section or, or a step that you're at uh, i'm going to try my best so we're going to go over once you get to accounts account google.com you're going to go to personal info and you're going to go down to the section where it says contact info and you're going to see phone there and you're going to see your phone numbers or whatever you're going to click on this section and what you're going to do is scroll down to your phone, whatever phone. And the phone that you're on at the moment is going to have uh, this device by it. So you'll know which phone you're working with. And if it's not on already, you're going to turn it off. And if it is on, uh, you're going to turn it off. You just want this slider to be off. So by now, what you've done is uninstalled the app. And you've gone into your account.google.com and turned off auto verification for your phone. Next, what you're going to do, and I'm going to include this link as well, you're going to go to download the APK for an older version of Google Messages. Um, for some reason, with the latest version, it has trouble verifying your, uh, your phone. So let me go back and uninstall that because I did install it. I'm going to uninstall that and I'm going to install a, an older version. I'm going to include the link. So if you don't use the link that I use, just download an older version of uh, Google Messages uh, the APK for it and make sure you're not downloading a bundle or a beta or anything like that. You just want to download a, a clear version of Google Messages. Um, so what I'm going to do is go down and it says my download is starting. So I'm going to refresh this page because I'm already here. I'm going to refresh this page and see if it kicks off. That. There we go. So since you're downloading an APK from the internet, the phone is going to warn you that this could be harmful. It's just Google Messages. It's not going to be harmful to your phone. So we're going to go in, we're going to let that download, and I'll see you back here in a moment. All right, we're back. So it just finally down, finished downloading. So we're going to go ahead and click on that download, and you're going to do present allow. I always do present allow because I don't want to just allow everything to download to my phone, even though it's me downloading it. Um, you're going to continue installing. Put your verification in there. And now that it's completely installed and the phone has allowed it through, you're going to go ahead and open it. And you're going to go through that same process again. 
choosing your profile or whatever, verifying your profile, letting spam, letting it block spam, set it as your default app. But since you since you downloaded this from the internet, it's going to ask you, hey, there are restrictions on this app. Do you want to remove those restrictions to allow it to do like the fully function? Basically, it lays it out there. But long story short, allow it to fully function. So I'm going to remove restrictions and it's going to ask you for your security, your pin or your fingerprint or whatever. So I'm going to set it as default again. And we're going to go in. And. You're going to see that RCS chats aren't available for this device. That's fine. That's that's fine. So you're going to come out of the app. And what I want to do is go back to my account.google. And you notice that we turned that off before. So let's refresh this page. It's taking a long time for some reason. Okay, so you'll see that it's on and it says this device. It doesn't say it's still trying to verify. It doesn't say any of that nonsense. So what we're going to do is go back into the app. And your RCS should be working or you may have to close the app. But there it is. It says connected. So this is what I've been working on for a little while. I know we went through it quicker so it don't seem like I did much. But yes, we got it working. So what you can do from there is if you want the latest features or anything that may be missing or any refinements, you can go back to uh, the Play Store and you'll see that it now says update. And you can just update it. It's already connected so you don't have to worry about it disconnecting again or anything like that. No, no weirdness. So we are good to go now. I think it, and I think this will work for majority of people out there. I cannot say 100% because somebody is going to come back to me and say it didn't work for me. <laughs> and I don't know how to fix that, but I try to refine this process as much as possible. So I really, really hope this helps you guys out there. All right. Appreciate you tuning in and I will catch you in the next one. Later.